Another $25,000? Are you serious? I know it's been a while since you worked in the city attorney's office, but do you recall what a public servant like Chief Johnson is paid? I recall it very well. That's why I left and got into private practice, where, lest we forget, people pay me for my services. So far, I've saved the city over $500,000. And if I'm fending off a $50 million award, plus punitive damages against Chief Johnson, in what can only be described as the biggest lawsuit of its kind currently before the federal bench, my compensation should be relative to my expenses and my time involved. All right, listen, if you are trying the biggest lawsuit of its kind currently before the federal bench, then you're going to be on television a lot. Well, my and public profile I'm is part... talking. I'm still talking. All right, look, you could not buy the kind of publicity that you will get from this case. From now on, you will be the first resort of any law enforcement officer facing similar charges, and I'm guessing your rates will go up accordingly. To be clear, if you are not willing to take this pro bono, I guarantee you somebody else will be. If you want to set up your next competitor, be our guest. Well, let's not draw this out. I don't usually work for free, but I like Brenda, and I hate Peter Goldman, and my office will be in touch. Bye-bye. Oh, Will. Thank you so much for helping me again. There's no way we could afford to pay for that. Excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. Could, correct me if I'm wrong, but are you under the impression that Chief Pope was in any way responsible for procuring me my last retainer? Well, I know the city didn't volunteer to pay it. You're right. And Chief Pope had nothing to do with it either. He did? No. That money came from your husband out of an inheritance he had from his parents. I'm sorry, where were we? Ah, yes, I remember. Bye-bye. 